and I know everything happens in South Florida, especially on the roads. Not only is there a lot of traffic, but there's a lot of debris. Imagine if something like this, a steel bar, came flying through your windshield. It happened more often than you think. Hundreds, if not thousands, of tons of trash fill our roadways every year. Sometimes it finds its way into our vehicles at high speed. Improperly secured loads fall from commercial trucks or family vehicles. Some debris is launched when it's run over. But the most infamous case that put the problem in the spotlight involved a Broward teenager. The Murray family was driving southbound on I-95 approaching the Sunrise Boulevard when a piece of road debris was kicked up by another vehicle and thrust through the windshield and through 13-year-old Stephanie Murray. With her teenage daughter impaled beside her in the van, Denise Murray pulled off the highway at Sunrise Boulevard and headed for the nearest gas station to call for help. Okay, you're on Sunrise and Power Line. Yes. Okay. We were hit on 95. We have a stick in my daughter's chest. How were you hit on 95? Oh. A metal pole went through the window. A pole went through the window on 95? Yes. It is very strange. Um, it doesn't seem like it would happen to me, but it did. And it's, it's over with now. <laughs> so, um, I know this can't really happen again, but... I'll stay in the back seat for a while. <laughs> I remember every vivid detail. However, you know, I and my family, we always try not to dwell on the moments that occurred that night, as vivid as they were, but try to celebrate, you know, life as it was spared and blessed by continually being positive. You know, we like to reach out to others that are in need, and we do everything we can to be a catalyst for change in our community. She was a catalyst for change, all right. Among other things, her high-profile accident launched a road debris task force. It led to laws requiring drivers to secure their loads. Road rangers were created. The Star FHP hotline was set up. And changes were made to the 911 system that allowed for improved tracking since those early days of cell phone usage. Uh, they were all very positive uh, things that, that occurred after. I think it was a very uh, big learning experience. Um, it, I think it helped in Stephanie's recovery, knowing that so many people did care and uh, moved forward with making some good positive changes in our community. But the problem is far from solved. Road debris has been blamed for many more injuries and deaths. In 2005, for example, Broward Circuit Judge Henry Latimer died in a crash on I-595. He swerved to avoid a large piece of plastic, hit a concrete piling, and his car burst into flames. The Florida Department of Transportation has crews picking up tons of debris every day, but they can barely keep up, especially during tourist season. Um, they have a regular sweep cycle, they call it, um, and you know, you go from one end of 95 to the other end of 95, they take the stuff back to our, our yard and dump it, and by the time they get back out there, there's more, there's more debris. We get just about anything you can possibly imagine um, from you know, personal items, wallets, um, IDs, uh, passports, jewelry, all the way up to large pieces of, of um, furniture, uh, household uh, appliances, refrigerators, freezers, lounges, sofas, mattresses, everything in between. But happy ending. Yeah, absolutely. Stephanie's done well. Uh, she's got a few uh, fantastic degrees with the University of Florida, two masters and a bachelor's, was hired out of college by uh, Disney World in Orlando, and now she's in a uh, form of a manager's position as a director for development with uh, Walt Disney World. With another chapter of South Florida's dubious history, I'm Wayne Rooston for the Sun Sentinel.